Hello friend, welcome to the Java Project. Today we are going to discuss about how GPA work in Spring Boot. So we are here to introduce some easy confused topic when are you programming with Java, especially using Spring Boot framework. So without further ado, let's start our topic today. So when you read or write data from database like MySQL, PostgreSQL, you always need a using ORM to encapsulate your raw SQL script. This will help you more easily to build the connection between your program and database. You just don't need to memorize that much SQL syntax. JP is not an actual ORM framework, but define a set of concepts that guide implementer. So actually, we are using Hibernate, which is an implementation of JPA, the most popular one. So today, we want to talk about some trap target JPA save method. So first trap is don't misunderstand insert as update. JPA doesn't offer an update method to specify an update statement. Instead, JP provide a save method. When the primary key is empty, it is executed as the insert statement. And when primary key is not empty, it is executed as a update statement. So here you can see there is a code from the JPA save method and this one is new and some use case also I, I, I want to show you. So here you can see uh, I'm setting some ID here, then set the name avatar then created at and then we are calling the save method here so this is the use case of insert because the primary key id does not exist in the table so the log of hibernate will be look like this and jpa will first execute the select statement then insert the new row another use case here you can see this is the use case of update because primary key id exists in the table so the log of hibernate will be look like this and in the both of the case we are just calling same map and jpa will execute the select statement first then update the row set field avatar created add and name what the difference when no field was changed let rerun the use case and run the test update user now you will see we have a log like this and there is only a select statement here the update statement just disappeared why that because hibernate session got the same row while the primary key is this one then second trap is by default executing an update statement will update all field in the entity let's see the example here so here in this example uh, i set uuid here then uh, find by id we are calling here with the id and we are setting the name we just change the name here okay and calling the same method here when i run this program so this one is the log which we are getting and we can say, see that we only want to update the username but execute sql statement update all the field in the entity if there are very many field in the table executing update operation will seriously affect the performance so how to solve it so to indicate the dynamic update query we need to add dynamic update annotation an example i want i want to show you here here in this class you can see we are using dynamic annotation and here let's re-execute the test update user on one field here this time update username to let's suppose i am changing it to another name and this time we will see the sql log look like this and we just update the field we want to update this time so now problem is solved then third trap is not all the execution will actually execute on db so this time we need to start a transaction and in the transaction we need to update a user row multiple times in this example you can see i'm using the transactional annotation here then taking one uuid and try to find the user here i'm setting multiple times i just give you five seconds can you guess how many times update statement will be executed on tv
so here is the log and there only one time update statement are executed when an entity is queried from database by updating it within a transaction Spring Data JPA does not immediately execute the update statement to synchronize the change to the database but wait until the transaction commit to decide whether to call the flush method to synchronize the entity information in the cache to data and only execute the update statement when the flush method will be called. We can modify the code and make it execute the update statement on the DB every time we use the update method. We just need to simply change save to save and flush. So now in this example, we are not using the save method we are using save and flush method here and this time you can see here three times we are using save and flush and three times this query is executed Spring data gp encapsulate a lot of practical method for programmer making them easy to write data access layer code if we don't do not understand the mechanism of framework can lead to error and such errors are difficult to solve by debugging. So when learning the framework, we should fully understand the principle and mechanism of the framework in order to avoid getting mistake. So hopefully, if you think these tweaks are helpful for you, please like and share my video in this video with your friend and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell for latest video update. Thank you.